Alright guys, it is a great gloomy day here in the collapse of everything, but the autumn leaves sure are gorgeous. Sure are gorgeous here on, uh, where are we? Have we made it to Thursday, October 10th, 2024? I am, uh, barreling across southwest Vermont heading back to New York baby for the last three weeks before heading down to whatever is left of the sunshine state and uh, sitting here with uh, axle grease pouring out of my rear end well not axle grease pouring out of my rear end that sounded wrong uh, axle grease pouring out of my gas sucking trucks rear end and <laughs> as this uh, this eight dollar seal has blown on this axle and uh, you know it's just it, it, everything is just a metaphor for uh, for the collapse of everything and how fucked we are. And so, of course, what am I doing? I'm I'm literally j just keep pouring more oil onto the problem uh, as the the oil goes pouring out of the the uh, blown axle seal. Well. What would you do? Just keep pouring it in. Uh, it, it pours out and I pour it in and it pours out and I pour it in. And uh, assuming I can make it back to Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, I have about, I'm guessing, 250 miles. 250 miles uh, that I have to uh, get home on this gloomy but beautiful day. Look at that fall scene. You know, you know Vermont, it really does. It's like you're living in a Norman Rockwell painting. We are entering historic Hoosick Vermont is it just this uh, just the little picture of picture of normalcy as I spew axle grease all over historic Hoosick Vermont hoping this eight dollar seal will uh will hold together with a lick and a promise. Uh, well, and as far as I can tell from the limited amount of news I have gotten out of Florida, I guess uh, I guess I have dodged another bullet by the skin of my teeth. I'm sitting here driving down the highway by the skin of my teeth. Some goddamn hurricane barreling across Florida. As far as I know, my uh, doomsday trailer, that 43-year-old single-wide mobile home uh, at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida has, <laughs> has made it through. I'm not sure how many mobile homes have not made it through these last two little kerfuffles blowing through Florida. Uh, I'm wondering how many of the 53 oak trees on my real estate investment uh, in Inverness, Florida are still standing. I talked to a buddy in Inverness. The power never went out. Power never went out last night. Just another night on the planet. 
they're overstocked with Adirondack chairs at the end of the season so you can steal an Adirondack chair for three hundred and fifty dollars all right that sounds like a regular uh, overstocked end of the summer sale to me three hundred and fifty dollars for a chair I always like this place with the cows the big moose country store the big moose country store <laughs> You know, it looks just like it did, you know, 50 years ago, uh, 50 years ago, uh, th this road looks pretty much the same. I am glad to see the, the forest in Vermont seem quite a bit healthier than the ones in the Finger Lakes of New York. I've noticed uh, I don't see near as many uh, dead trees in Vermont here uh, in 2024 as I do in the Finger Lakes of New York so I guess that's a good sign so anyway I am just limping home trying to make it home again on this fossil fuel nightmare uh, <laughs> uh, you know just it, it, it's just unbelievable in this system in this complex system called a modern automobile how many of these you know these little things like o-rings and seals and fuses and uh where the entire vehicle a, a, an entire twenty thousand dollar vehicle is, is completely dependent uh, on, on these things and uh, you know one thing uh, one eight dollar seal blows or a, I don't even know what a fuse costs two bucks and, and the whole system is gone uh, I mean talk about a uh, talk about a metaphor for global industrial civilization where just the, the, the entire system uh, did, did this one little chink in, in the system and, and the whole fucking house of cards goes down uh, so what doomers think about what doomers think about so uh, you know, last night I went and met a buddy, one of my Doomer buddies, for a meal and a drink. Uh, about a 45 minute drive. So I decided that I, you know, I was <coughs> trying to find some hurricane coverage. So I go over there onto NPR looking for hurricane coverage and they're they, they're not talking anything about the hurricane so I guess what's that NPR show on the economy something like market watch or something but but anyway uh, you know leading up to this election whatever that NPR show about the economy is uh, so, it, it was mainly centering on health care, but uh, at several points d during the 45 minutes, you know, they're, they're talking about uh, the important issues facing American voters and, uh, you know, how the, the, the limp dick lefties have their list of important issues and the MAGA Trump tards uh, have their list of important issues but you know high up at the top of the no matter no matter what side uh, of this false political divide you're on you know they're 
that, that they were talking about health care uh, being up, uh, particularly the cost of health care uh, in this country is one of the few places that uh, Trump tards and Kamala tards can, uh, can, can agree on about how the uh, the medical system at least the the medical payment system in this country is completely broken completely broken uh, that the U the US health system is an absolute joke and a laughing stock to the to the rest of the country uh, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, listening to that, I, I wonder where the U.S. health system is going to be on the uh, list of things to worry about in, in a few more years. But, uh, but you know, what, what they were talking about on, on both sides of the political divide, like, like going through the top ten things on voters' minds... Uh, in, in late October of 2024, and, and you know whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, so uh, you, you, you can imagine, you know, the economy was pretty much uh, up at the very top, as it always is. It's the economy, stupid, but nowhere on the list. Nowhere on the list. Uh, on either side, and, and this was on the Limp Dick Lefty station, not one mention of environment, environmental issues, including climate change. Nowhere on the list, uh, be it climate change or any other uh, environmental issue, is nowhere on the voters' minds uh, in in late 2024. It, 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 it's to uh, it, just the average person. It is nowhere on their minds. You know, uh, right before I left, uh, I, I was reading this article. Uh, you know, right there in the mainstream media. Uh, about a uh, ecological overshoot and how fucked we are and all of that uh, it, it, right there in the mainstream media uh, and then I guess the World Wildlife Fund has come out with their you know updated whatever they call that about how fucked all of our fellow earthlings are what is it 73 and it's gone from, I, I guess, the last one of these a few years ago, it was 66% of our fellow Earthlings are going uh, into the stew pot, as it were. And now that number is 73%. 73% of our fellow Earthlings uh, have, uh, have disappeared that humans have obliterated 73% well of our non-domesticated uh, fellow earthlings uh, off the face of the planet I'll probably do a fuller rant on that you know and in that pointing out that it was based on you know looking at 5,000 species so the insect apocalypse is not even factored in to uh, to that survey, so that news is out. I noticed two comments, two comments uh, on on that story. Uh, hurricanes uh, tearing up uh, everything, uh, and and nobody uh, is uh, is talking about is thinking about uh, environmental issues that once again the environment uh, is the last thing on anybody's mind so I get back to my sister's house I, uh, I always forget what channel I'm on I don't know if I've talked about my sister so my sister 
she is not she and her husband are not clueless Morris. now I mean they're big NPR listeners and uh, New York Times readers and I guess they are both part of the 2.8 percent of Americans who have gotten the most recent COVID uh, corona panic vaccine uh, so they are uh, they, they, they are lefties but they're not uh, they're, 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 they really aren't clueless morons. Uh, you know, my sister has been uh, telling me for several years that I've, that I've pretty much convinced her. She has two daughters and two granddaughters, my sister, that I have pretty much convinced her that uh, that we are completely fucked uh this uh, civilization is fucked uh this planet is fucked uh, if she and her husband aren't aren't fucked my sister's 72 that if she and her husband aren't fucked you better believe her uh her uh Let's get a report on uh, Doomsday Trailer. If the if the phone will answer, this goddamn phone will not answer. Uh, there you. There you are. Are you there? Are you there? I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so uh, uh, I'll call you back. I don't know if you can hear a word I'm saying. I can't hear you. Oh well, we'll have to get a hurricane report when I get to civilization. So anyway, it, 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 you know, so I get back uh, with, with all of this on my mind and my sister and her husband are in there watching Survivor uh, glued to the their big screen TV watching Survivor and uh, and, 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 and I have the conversation that I just had with you uh, uh, over the last five or ten minutes and it, it's, the, it's the same response that she gives me. Uh, let's see. I, can I hear, can you hear me or I hear you? I can hear you. All right, I'm in the middle of nowhere, so I probably have to call you back in 20 minutes, but as long as I've got you. So does Doomsday Trailer still stand? I'm sitting in it right now. You're sitting in, in Doomsday Trailer, and there's no tree falling on it or nothing. Ah, uh, shit. But I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I will call you. Uh, I don't know if you can hear a word I'm saying. I will call you in 20 minutes. I cannot hear you. Alright, Doomsday Trailer did survive. Uh, it is official. Uh, so anyway, my sister Paul's is Survivor. And, uh, you know, I'm talking to them about, uh, you know, about how environmental issues are nowhere on the voters' minds. I was telling her about that NPR uh, report. And, uh, you know, she just goes into her usual reaction uh, saying, you know, that she, she gets it. Okay, dude, uh, I understand that everything you say is true. We are completely fucked. The entire planet is fucked. She doesn't actually say my children and grandchildren are fucked. Uh, and, and, and there's not a goddamn thing that, that we're going to do about it. And so she goes, y you know, so, so you understand this. And you understand there's nothing that you or anyone can do about it. So why do you dwell on it? She is a big uh, proponent of the get out there 
and, and enjoy it while you still can. You know, why, if you honestly believe this, uh, why do you spend one minute uh, thinking about this, talking about it? She's just like, acknowledge that th th this ship is fucking going down. Uh, say, oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. Shrug it off. And, uh, you know, load up a bowl, uh, pour a glass of wine, and turn Survivor on on the big screen TV. Get out, enjoy, and enjoy all of these beautiful uh, autumn leaves. Uh, you know, go meet your buddy for a, a nice dinner while you still can. And uh, I... I can't argue with that. Uh, it's uh, what what else can you say about it? And uh, I, I have no idea. Uh, I you know I I try to uh, walk away from this, and uh, it, it 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 just absolutely fucking floors me uh, that. But, yeah, uh, absolutely floors me that that environmental issues, and, and don't get me wrong, guys, you know uh, I am not an environmentalist. Uh, I am a doomer. Uh, and, uh, oh, Jesus. So I'm going to get out of here and enjoy these beautiful leaves. I see the sun is coming out. Uh, and as long as this goddamn axle gets me back home to Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, I'm going to get up tomorrow so I have a whole truck full of these beautiful perennials. I must... I probably have $800 worth of all of these gorgeous perennials. Uh, so, it's supposed to be absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day tomorrow at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I've got uh, two of my tiny houses uh, booked up for the weekend. Uh, you know, I got a, I got money coming in. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I got a truck full of these uh, beautiful perennials, and uh, I'm 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 gonna get up tomorrow morning. Uh, ha have my planet saving cup of organic coffee, and uh, start planting perennials, and and, and wonder how many years. Uh, I'm going to be able to enjoy these flowers coming back year after year just, just doing what flowers do oh lordy <laughs> but the sun is back out it is a fine day in the collapse of everything so I'm gonna take my big sister's advice and I'm gonna get out here and enjoy these beautiful autumn leaves while I still can and highly suggest you do the same thing I don't hear any noises coming out of my axle. Sounds like it's rolling along back there. <laughs> <laughs>